I didn't have said. a hearing problem. <laughs> they did. <laughs> <laughs>People think blind people hear better than sighted people, which now, of course, makes me laugh because I can pull out my hearing aid and say, you probably hear better than me. Oh, he missed out on so much. I mean, words, you'd, you'd be talking and, and he'd get part of a sentence, part of a word, and it would just be something totally different than what you originally had said. Well, it started probably 25 years ago, and it takes a good five years before anybody will do anything. I mean, you put it off and put it off, and you think, well, and you get used to reading people's faces. So it takes a while to get used to it. I actually paid for hearing aids that I never used. And then I came here, and I'm very pleased. It's a place where you get personal care. And, and it, that it's, I feel like you get that you get a package that, that it's sort of ongoing and continuous, and I, it sort of feels like I'm being held here. And it's been very, the reception's was, been wonderful. Yeah, it's I was so treat, respectful and yeah. helpful. I guess that's what yeah. I, was, I was treated very respectfully, and, and uh, it was a very good experience. It was a great experience. I would definitely recommend Highline Audiology, and I would tell them that I have had nothing but good experiences here, that you guys take really good care of your customers. When I see somebody that's hard of hearing that are, you know, huh, and I can see they're reading my face and they're putting their good ear up, I tell them, I say, you know, you have a little problem hearing, go in and see my friends, go in and see Jennifer. She'll take care of you and the rest of the girls will too. I just feel like home here. And I'm not being paid to say this either. <laughs> I, you know, I was a little nervous to come in, you know, I always am, to come into a new medical facility because a lot of times, you know, the blindness becomes such an issue, and it shouldn't, but it does. And so you have to work people through, you know, talk to me, don't talk to my husband, don't pat the dog, blah, blah, blah. None of that here. I walked in with the dog, and, and, um, Gloria, who's the, one of the people out front, said, oh, what a beautiful dog, and I, I know I can't pat your dog, and oh, there's a chair to your right. And I thought, wow, I don't have to do anything. These people are just just right on it. You schedule me, I come in, and we do the job, and I leave. And I'm very, very pleased. And I would tell you if I weren't. Yes. <laughs> Fun place. I have a it's good time wonderful. here. It's, it's very, very nice. I've had a very good experience here. I, when I do come in here, and I don't come in very often, but they all know me. Hi, Barry. It's just so homey. And, um, well, that's about it. Okay. What more could you say about a place you like? I have a different relationship with my, with my audiologist. She seems to have more time for me to um, to know me, to maybe uh, be able to think of me when something new comes up, she might think, oh, you know, that I bet that would be something good for Winona, but with her level of loss, because I have profound and severe and hearing loss, so so it's so that's that's why I really enjoy coming. I mean, that's why I enjoy coming to Highline because I feel like I really have that that personal care, and it makes me more relaxed. You guys are so nice, you really are. Okay. <laughs>